So here's our reaction. Hydrogen gas, oxygen gas are reacting to form steam. Question says it's 3.50 grams of hydrogen gas, 40.0 grams of oxygen gas. It's a limiting reagent problem. The minute you see two givens in a stoichiometry problem, is your tip-off for this is going to be a limiting reagent problem. Okay, from there, what helps is knowing that there are only really three questions that can be asked. So I like to call this the ABCs of limiting reagents. A, what's going to run out? Okay, and, and along with that, what will I have extra? So what is the limiting reagent is the first question. Second question is how much product will you make? How much water am I going to make in this case? How much steam? And the last question is how much extra of the one reactant will I have? There's only three questions that can be asked. There are sometimes multiple products, so you can have multiple calculations here. But really, it's just a simple ABC question, and there's a really, really easy way to do all of these questions. It's very systematic, it's easy to copy. You don't need to actually understand a ton of stuff to be able to do it. It's actually really good, and I think it actually kind of helps with understanding in the long run. What you want to do is take your two givens immediately, without doing anything else, without even thinking, and do two stoic problems with them. 3.50 grams of hydrogen, 40.0 grams of oxygen. Just start by literally taking those two and changing them into one of the products. Now for, for this, we only have one product, we only have the steam. But if I had multiple products, what I would do is I would read the question and see if it asks about one. If it asks about one in particular, I would, I would use that one. If it doesn't ask about one in particular, then I would just pick whatever one looks easiest to me. Doesn't matter. This one, I have no option, I'm going to go to water. So I'm going to do two strike problems. I'm going to take my 3.50 grams of hydrogen. I'm going to convert that into moles of hydrogen. And then I'm going to do two moles of H2. It gives me two moles of water from my balanced equation. And then I'm going to convert the water into grams. Then I'm doing this with two decimal places for my molar masses, and I get a final answer of 31.2 grams of water. Okay, so from 3.50 grams of hydrogen, I have enough chemical to make 31.2 grams of water. For the oxygen, I'm going to do the same thing. 32 grams of O2 gives me one mole of O2. So I'm converting into moles, and then I'm going to convert from moles of oxygen Two moles of steam, and again I'm using my balanced reaction, two for each one, and then I'm going to change that into grams. Uh, one of the nice things about doing this also is that you'll note that this, this, and this are the same, so you can kind of copy off of yourself there, and that comes out to be 45.1 grams of steam. Now, most people, once you've gotten into stoichiometry, have an easy time doing a stoichiometry problem. Limiting reagent is difficult because it kind of asks you to interpret things. But what we've done is we've set up a way to really easily interpret this. Let me show you how. You have two answers. According to this answer here, you're going to make 31.2 grams of steam. According to this answer here, you're going to make 45.1 grams of steam. What that means is that this is going to run out first because you're going to run out of that hydrogen when you reach that amount of product. Then you're going to have extra oxygen that would allow you to continue the reaction, but you're going to run out of H2. So whichever one is your smaller answer, smaller answer of the two is how much product you will make. And then whatever that came from, that is your limiting reagent. Which is two of the questions answered. Question A was, what's going to run out? Well, whatever is my smallest answer, whatever, whatever reactant leads to that answer is going to be my limiting reagent. I'm going to run out of hydrogen gas before I run out of oxygen gas in this problem. Okay. And then part B, how much product do I make? Well, I make this much. Now, if they had had multiple products here and they had asked for all of them, I'd have to take this amount and then go through and do a second stoic problem. Because that's going to be the one that runs out, and so that's the one that I want to base my calculations on. The last question seems very tricky. The last question is, is how much extra oxygen will I have? And the fancy word for that is excess. How much excess oxygen gas will I have? And there's a really simple way to calculate that if you've done this. Because what you've done here is you figured out how much product you'll make. 
but you also figure out how much you could make in theory according to how much you started with of the excess. So there's a really simple kind of calculation for that. I think I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna have to do this on the bottom here. You're going to take one minus the ratio of your two answers, 31.2 and 45.1. And then you're going to multiply that decimal, that'll be between 1 and 0. You're going to multiply that decimal by the original amount of excess. So 40.0 grams of O2. When you do that formula, when you take 1 minus the ratio of your answers, smaller on the top, times the original amount of the thing that's going to be extra, you will get how much left over you have. Okay, so in this case, that comes out to be 12.3 grams of O2. Now the theory on why that works, this quantity here, 31.2 divided by the 45.1 is essentially comparing how much you make with how much you could make in regards to the oxygen. I could make 45 grams, I only make 31, that's about 70%. Okay, so I'm only going to use up 70% of this. But for leftover, I'm going to have 30%, I'm going to have 100 minus that 70%. Well this is your 100%, this is the amount you use up and that's how much you started with. So you kind of are setting up a 100% minus the percent you use in a decimal form. You multiply that by how much you started with, and that will tell you then how much you have. So this will answer every limiting reagent question you can get really, really easily. To recap, all you did was you did two soy problems, which I'm not going to say is not challenging, but, but it's definitely manageable, and once you get into it, usually it's not too hard. Doing two stoic problems doesn't require a lot of thought. Just go ahead and do them. Once you have the answers, you have two of your answers to A and B. You have which one, how much product you make, and you have which one's the limiting reagent. And then for part C, which a lot of people struggle with, you have a really simple equation. Do one minus the ratio of your answers times the original amount of excess, and that will tell you how much excess you have left over. Okay? So that's how you go through and do a really, really simple way of doing limiting reagent problems. It works really well. And, it, and we'll 